Supposedly, the materialistic women are out of here. Like, it's something I saw, and they were having, like, a debate on, like, oh, how yeah. much the ring should be. Mm -hmm. Right? Technically, it's supposed to be uh, three months of your salary. Who wrote that? Who, who said that, that? That's just like a, a thing. Where did these rules? I never heard that. Like where that came from? Yeah, they, it's three. It's it's, it's twenty five. They either say twenty five percent or three months, but twenty five percent is a quarter. So, so three if months. I make a quarter million a year, let's say you make let's say you make a hundred thousand a year, right? So that ring's supposed to be twenty five thousand. Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? Technically, it's supposed to be uh, three months. Of your salary. Who wrote that? Who, who said that, that? That's just like a, a thing. Where did these rules? I never heard that. Like where that came from? Yeah, they, it's three. It's it's, it's twenty five. They either say twenty five percent or three months, but twenty five percent is a quarter. So, so three if I make a quarter million a year, let's say you make let's say you make a hundred thousand a year, right? So that ring's supposed to be twenty five thousand. Yo, what the hell is she talking about? And who's right mind? And I don't. First of all, I don't even think that that's three months. If we if we do a hundred thousand. Divided by twelve, hundred thousand divided by twelve gets you eight thousand, eight eight thousand three repeating. So that's how much you would get a month times three. That's twenty five thousand. She's right. Okay, that's a quarter of this. Oh, and the fact she has this number off the top of her head is, uh, this is a house down payment and this is a car. This is a a crazy vacation. I did not. Maybe I didn't notice. Maybe I'm just like completely out of the loop. Are women expecting? A wedding to be like extravagant and expensive and a ring that's supposed to be twenty five thousand dollars. Yo, the average salary in America is like forty thousand something dollars. And I guess if you with this man, a hundred thousand dollars is not like a crazy amount of money to be spending twenty five thousand, a quarter of it in a ring. And he's supposed to save up this money because you know, you don't just retain all your hundred thousand dollars and it's tax free money that you make in a year. That's not how money works. So he's supposed to save this up throughout the course of like the, the span of the relationship and then look at $25,000, go into a K Jewelers and say, oh, I want to buy this ring. What? Am I missing? I might be missing something. <laughs> she got to walk around with a $25,000 ring. Not on because of the price. I just think. I would get you a ring to match that. No, no, I'm just saying like, <laughs> why? No, no, I'm not saying. I know, I'm can. just saying like, like no, I would like, I would do I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even want that. I'm The younger me would have been like, that makes sense. Let me see what a $25,000 ring looks like. Okay, this is a 25, hey, they spinning it. They got it looking nice. This looks simple. Okay, it's got some diamonds around. Oh, okay, that's a little nice right there. $25,000, I think not. I wouldn't even feel comfortable walking around with something like this on my, on my finger. $25,000 doesn't even sound like a realistic thing that like the average person should just be walking around with. If this right here is $25,000, Jesus in the flood. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm not, mm -mm. I can't be with nobody that wants a $25,000 ring. Who would want to walk around with a, a house down payment on their finger, a car on their finger? Even as a, like a man, she said, I, I would get you one to match. I don't want that, that dumb ass shit. Said I want to go for it and I want my wife to walk around with the biggest ring. The me now is going to go, 25 grand could do a lot of things for us. Facts. I, I, I get what you're saying, but... Like, why not want to do something nice for her? It's not that I wouldn't want to do something nice for her. What I'm just saying, my brain now would tell me, like, yo, I'd rather put $25,000 or I'd rather spend five, six on a ring, right? Oh. Put 20 on a house, like a really, really nice house. You know what I mean? And really like, yo, look, this is, this is for you. But are, are you guys having that discussion prior? Because say if she's a materialistic person and the ring matters to her. Then a materialistic person will not be in my life. I, I'm not, we're not getting married so I can fund your hobby of impressing your homegirls that are single and desperate. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. We're not getting married so you can flex on Instagram. We're not getting married so you can impress somebody else. This is supposed to be some union. Materialistic or not, I understand being materialistic. I like nice things. I like referee shirts and stuff like that. But I'm not marrying you so you can impress others with your $25,000 ring. And that's the only reason why you would want to be doing something like that. Because if you can dead ass look at somebody and say, hey, you know, $25,000 can get us a bunch of different things. We can take some time off throughout the year. You know, hey, with $25,000, you don't even have to work. You can you can quit and and, and take some time and relax and live in a little soft girl era and we can vacation and we can do a bunch of different things with $25,000. You telling me you would take a ring over that? 
You telling me you would take a ring over a house, a ring over a car, a ring over a bunch of different things? And I'm supposed to be also taking care of all these other things, being the provider. I'm supposed to take care of a household as well. Hey, there's a difference between being materialistic and stupid, and that's just stupid. Well, I, I would I think, with no I think we would person. know where we are at that you point. You seem like a materialistic person. But I know mm -hmm. I'm Wait, what on this man looks materialistic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pause it so soon. Oh. But I mean like like okay, and I'm only saying this off of just like looking at like at how you dress, right? Where? Materials matter to you. You want to make sure that you wear the flyest shit and I like things to, that are costly. I like to I like to look like somebody. So I'm gonna assume that the way that you dress, you also pull in girls that look what? like that too, right? Some no, see no. Uh, no, but you date bums? No, 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 I don't date bums. But okay, but they they do look nice they, to certain. Let me ask you a question. Do you think you're materialistic? No. Do you like to dress nice? Of course I do. Okay, so that's the type. <laughs> so not that you're materialistic, uh -huh. but you like to dress nice. Everything don't gotta be so cheap either, though. Yeah, cause you know what I'm saying. But everything don't gotta be a name yeah, either. Like I, I don't it. like to walk around with just names on me, mm -hmm. but I like to look nice. To me, in my mind, the ring supposed to like it's supposed to mean the the union mm -hmm. between the people. Of course. The amount of money, how much the actual ring costs, should not matter. Now, I I wouldn't say it shouldn't matter. I don't think it should matter. I'm not gonna say it shouldn't matter. I just don't think it should be twenty five thousand dollars. I don't believe in like there's there should there's a written amount like it should be this. Three, I think the amount months. of it shouldn't really matter. I think the amount of it should just be like whatever you know two people are comfortable with spending. I think that's because the ring is significant. Significant. Is significant to the relationship, yes. Mm -hmm. But like, whether if I, whether if Kev got his girl a ten thousand dollar ring and I got my girl a two thousand dollar ring, like that don't mean anything different in a relationship is gonna be. Like, I agree. I you know what's funny? I, I thought we got past the idea as well, and I don't know if he's gonna touch on it. That like diamonds and all these other, you know, materialistic things hold this much weight. Especially ones that don't increase in value, ones that decrease in value. And that, that wedding ring is going to decrease in value. I think even like a bag is a better investment than a ring, to be quite honest with you. Bags definitely appreciate over time. They have the ability to appreciate over time. Getting somebody a ring, if you if you look up the statistics on it, the number of like weddings that are financed, the number of uh, rings that are financed, like marriages built on financial burdens of like houses, cars, weddings, vacation uh, uh honeymoons rings all these things like people take out serious loans that's a serious business of people taking out loans to build a relationship foundation uh as to what they think it's supposed to be but if the love isn't the foundation of the relationship or your religion or whatever maybe even like a business transaction isn't the foundation of your relationship then i i don't think that that's like a successful relationship i don't think something material can be the foundation of your relationship, specifically something that depreciates in value. That's crazy to me. Me and her could last 30 years. Him and her could last three. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So I think the amount of the amount of money you spend on a ring. I think that kind of matter. shit really offsets the, the I think it should matter. It, it like it 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 you're tipping the scale of the actual relationship when you start subscribing to these unwritten rules because now it's kind of like damn like he didn't spend twenty five thousand on it i found out how much he makes that means he doesn't value me well that means he doesn't and it's just no like, it's like no it's like it's on, like it's like the fact that i literally came out of myself to get on this one knee and say baby will you marry me Shit, i love you yeah. i've never done that before because you could yeah. say no i'm i'm nervous as fuck because like in my mind like Nobody wants to be embarrassed. Like, of course. who wants to like be the Fuck guy? Fuck being embarrassed, because the, the the embarrassment of the fact that I'm asking you to spend the rest of my life with me, and you told me no, and you said no, like nah. That's you what know I'm saying. saying. Like, so who um, wants to? Who wants that feeling? That's but a I, different bro, kind of embarrassment. For me, no for me. lie. If I heard, ever experienced that, I probably would never even ever. No, but been I married. also heard that men don't necessarily ask women that they don't know for sure is going to say yes. Like, if she say no, it's over. With. I'll let y'all know that right now. Hey. I don't care how much money you make. If the foundation of your relationship is based off of materialistic things, you are destined to fail. Simple as that. And a, and a ring should not be the make or break thing. I'm not trying to trick fellas into being cheap or whatever the case may be. I'm trying to teach women to not be trying to impress like their friends and flex on their friends about what type of ring and all this other stuff they have. 
if that even comes up in conversation, that's the other thing that 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 makes this so crazy. Am I supposed to leave a tag on a wedding ring? Is that what's supposed to happen? Like, do I do I leave the receipt at the bottom of the box? How are you even supposed to know that it's twenty five thousand dollars? Like, all you should see right then and there is like me, like they said, being vulnerable on one knee, asking you to marry you. You should take that, pop, pop it on, and keep it going. The idea that at some point I have to tell you about price tags and other oh, yeah, this was a twenty five thousand dollar ring. That's the most asinine thing I have ever seen in my life. Honestly, your relationship will fail if that's how you approach it. But I could be wrong.